Okay, this is our lane. It's uh, June the 23rd. <coughs> that cough is from getting targeted. Um, in the lungs while I was asleep. So I just want to do a really quick video because both of my knees were targeted. Um, my right knee was targeted pretty heavily after I um, went to bed. And then um, my left knee was targeted. So like right now when I walk, I have a limp because of my left knee. Know exactly what happens or transpires when I'm asleep, I don't know. And then uh, yesterday, before I went to bed, my apartment was heated up. I had to turn the, I have a new air conditioner, so I had to turn that on uh, to cool down my apartment. Um, so uh, that's something also that happened. And, um, yeah, so that's something that was going on. So a lot of my targeting, um, was coming from the apartment below me, uh, right here, apartment, uh, 302. See, they don't keep their window, they don't keep a screen on, as you'll see. You can kind of see they don't keep a screen on. So, um, yeah, so I wanted to do a video on it because um, I've also had where I think there's someone in there, right there. It looks like someone's sleeping in there. That is, I'm not sure what kind of car that is. Uh, yeah, it looks like there's someone in there. That one right there. Um, so anyways, um, that's what happened. And then also, um, I've, um, been having frequencies em emit, descend from the ceiling. So I'm not sure if that's something that is being slid over from apartment 404. I don't think it's just the power lines alone. It seems like there's something there. Because sometimes I hear noises like within the wall. And I can also hear noises like um, within the wall. Like where my kitchen sink is underneath. That would probably be from um, apartment 302. So when it comes to any frequencies in the floor or, or along the wall where my kitchen is or my bathroom is, the only apartment that would have access to that would be apartment 302. Uh, when it comes to my ceiling, the only apartment that would really have access would be apartment 404. And across the hallway is a, um, like a small utility closet. And they would also have access to it. Um, and that would basically be it. So this is an example of a gang stalker in their car right there. I don't, I don't think it's a Corolla. So, um, yeah, so that's really, um, basically it. Actually, I've done YouTube with this car, uh, before it was parked over here under the tree. So, uh, I don't know if they spent the night or they just came and sat out in the car. So they must be doing, it must be their turn for surveillance. So a lot of these cars are familiar, uh, like that white duster there, I don't know what, or Charger, I'm not sure what the name of the car is. The silver car, the white, uh, the number two lane, the white Jetta. So 
so I'm actually getting targeted from this direction to my elbow. I don't have anything plugged in in my um, apartment, so I would say it'd be coming from apartment 404. And um, my feet are pretty burnt also, so I need to cool off my feet. That one's a regular. That one. Come on, by that one right there. That one's regular. That one is. So another thing that I also get, are, um, and I got it last night, is I will get frequencies that will emit from around my apartment, like the paint, all on the outside, the frame of my apartment, and the same thing with my um, bathroom on the frame of it, all around. And the frequencies will go into my apartment. Plus, they also come from outside in through the window. So I don't know, I'm assuming it's coming also from the power lines, too. <clears throat> but also, um, that one's a regular, the black one. It could also be coming like um, where that silver car is. Like, there's no reason for them to park. I guess they decided to leave um, because nothing's open. So it's kind of obvious. But um, that car, like it during the day or at night, it'll be jam packed with gang stalkers in their cars. They don't get out to the liquor store or nothing. They're just there. That's another one, the Honda. That's another one, a Mazda. That van is an irregular. Quite a few. So, um, yeah, so I get a lot of frequencies. 
they're like frequencies, but they're prickly. And they come out, some from the ceiling up here. I'm not sure if my derby tenant goes up and lays something on the ceiling. Uh, something is within the ceiling or just being slid up partially from apartment 404. So actually apartment 404 starts where the white plaster is down. Uh, that's where apartment 404 is. All the way down like 304, 204. Um, so this is my, my apartment area all the way over here. And it's the same for 304, then it's 204. There's no 104 because that's where the, um, the office is. So, um, yeah, anyways, I've been getting a lot of the uh, frequencies coming out. That one is kind of new. It's been happening on a daily basis. So those are DWP power lines. All this area is DWP. Department of Water and Power. Yep, their headquarters is right behind the music center. It's grand. I, I think they're on hope. Anyways. Um, yeah, so I get a lot of um, frequencies from there. also get it specifically from that signal there in the corner by the liquor store. Um, that one right there. I'll get pulses. I also will get pulses like from the meters. I'll get a lot of pulses. The meters are, um, they're almost all electric. They do have little solar panels. But, um, it's, um, it's electric. So that's the exit for the tenant parking at the Derby. Right there. Well, it's exit or entrance. No exit only. <clears throat> See, there come. I think that truck's going by again. A lot of times they go down to the next signal where the red light is and come back around. Or a lot of times they'll go down the street and they'll make a ride on St. Andrews, a ride on Sierra Vista, and then come up right here at this signal and come back down. Toes are pretty burnt. It's a pretty morning though if you look around. It's a nice view. Get targeted, but a nice view. And they're still in their car right there. That one right there.
see a notice that person is still in their car. I believe that is a derby tenant in their car. There are, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, gang stalkers. Um, this is a guy, too, I did a video about one time in the Blackford Explorer. I was outside sitting there, sitting, and then he was parked like two, I think like two um, cars away, and he came and did that thing. He just sat in his car, like the guy in the silver Honda Civic. He doesn't do it much, but he did do it a couple of days ago. I haven't seen that car here before. I do notice though from time to time that gang stalkers have a, they get uh, the cars replaced. 